Hi there, we're back to new another design. This one is going to be a collaboration with a wonderful group of ladies. So before we get started, let me show you their designs. Now weren't those just beautiful designs? I want to say thank you very much to all the ladies who joined us. I love doing a group collab. So now, here is my contribution to the collaboration. First off, um, I'm going to do a smushy with a bunch of different colors. So this is what I have on my nails right now, is this uh, plain sheer color. And to that I'm going to add this medium brown, this copper color, my soft gray, and my gold. What I'm going for is a rock wall. So I am going to get these all together and I'm going to get some latex on my nails. Yes, I'm going to remember to put the latex on and I will be right back. Okay, so here is the result of my first smushing and that's all the colors that I showed you mixed together. So I'm going to smush onto this finger and we're going to use this little mini silicone baking mat. Okay. So, starting with our sheer color, and the reason I put a lot of the sheer on is to give them something to mil mix and mellow them out. And last but not least, our gold, and this is supposed to mimic fool's gold. Okay, and now it's time to smush. So we will go smush, smush, and then I like to give it a spin to swirl them together. Okay, so let me put this beside it. I'll try not to block the view. And just smush until you're happy. What do you think, baby? I think it looks, looks pretty, pretty good. Looks pretty good. Now, I did come back in. Let me move my mat and stamper out of the way. I did come back in with this one to highlight a few good solid gold spots. There we go. Now I'm going to let this completely dry, right. clean up, and I'll Thanks. be right back. Hi, we are back and as you can see I've gotten started and I wanted to note really quick. I thought my colors were a bit too bold when I was done smushing. So I went over each one of my nails with one thin coat of the Nina. This one is uh, French pink and basically what it did was it muted the design and softened it to make it look a little bit more like stone. Now we're going to be using the 3140 baby girl design set from the Ajubis. I'm using the Egyptian style. This is going to be our ancient Egyptian design. Okay now I'm going to be coming in with my my MDU copper and my MDU black and that's number two and number 41. So what I want to do is I'm going to stamp my pretty little antelopes here. That's going to go under my sun. So we want one in black. Okay, now I'm going to clean that up a bit. Now, this little antelope is going to be going right across the middle. Right about there. And there's one. Oh, that's cool. Now, I'm going to clean my plate up. And we're going to add a copper one. Okay. Alright, there's our little antelope and I'm going to clean him up too. 
we don't want that excess. All right, now he's gonna go right next to and underneath our first one. And there we go. Oh yeah, perfect. So, now let me get my mess out of the way here. And let's get these top coated. And if anybody's curious, this is the tiny end of the Moyu um, marshmallow stamper. Now, a little sesh V. His little legs are standing up, I have to fix that. Okay. Now we'll top coat. And we are all done. And this is the hieroglyph story of the Great Hunt. Okay, and if I can curl my hand over here, you can see. And you can see this all story of the scribes wrote on the stone tablet. What do you think? I'm pretty happy with this one. Absolutely love my smushy stone wall. Thank you so much for joining us with this collab. I put a link in the description box for all of the other ladies' channels and their beautiful designs. Go check them out. I'll be right behind you. Thank you so much for watching. We always enjoy your comments below and we really appreciate a thumbs up. Until next time.